first of all, to make possible machines understand human emotions. So we are a company mixing machine learning and computer vision to make possible to understand from people's faces uh, what the people are feeling. The way that we are applying the artificial intelligence to improve business and attract more customers is focused on customer experience. So the main idea is to really understand how is the experience, the emotional experience of customers in a very easy way, okay? Because emotions is an important part of uh, when you are making a decision, emotions is at the beginning. So you need to understand, if you want to make a strategy, you really need to understand what are the emotions that are moving customers to make decisions, to buy new products. This is a critical point. And they can be used in different ways, okay? The, you can use in a store. So in that case, you need cameras. These cameras are recording, not recording really, as taking information. This is important because the technology is compliant with the GDPR. Okay, so this is, we are not recording anyone. So please, the second uh, way is like online surveys. So the, we are asking people to see products, to see video content. And with the camera, we are recording, in that case, because we are asking for permission, we are recording the videos and we are analyzing the facial expressions. So many clients are using now the technology because it's like plug and play. It's very easy to use. So it's not a complicated and especially it's compliant with the GDPR. Yes, so we have done. We have some clients in this uh, space. Uh, because we need, uh, when you are selling, politicians is like to sell a product, okay? So you need to understand how the candidates are engaging with the, with the people, how people are understanding the messages, how are the emotional reactions from the different candidates. So yes, we are using it. Our clients are global, so that means that we are working with clients in Asia, in Mexico, in many places. And we are working with companies like NetQuest, Fujitsu, Intel, Mary, not in one only one vertical. The good thing of the technology is it can apply to many verticals because at the end, all these brands has the need to connect with the customers. In a store, it depends how many cameras you are using. So we are providing the software. The good thing is that it's hard, hardware agnostic, so you can use a, a small webcam. So a licensing is costing around 25 euros, more or less, by month. And if you are applying for more um, online surveys, something like that, is you can imagine, you can analyze one video around $300 and it's including 300 analyses. I believe also to make understanding people, to make people understand that there is a big difference between facial coding and facial emotion recognition. And this is important because of the privacy law. Facial identification is only focused on identified people. But facial emotion recognition is focused not in, to identify people, it's focused to understand their emotions. This kind of technology, many times people is feeling like, ah, it's, I feel fear about this. Uh, it's not. It's, it's a new way to understand better customers, and I believe it can be help, very helpful, helpful for the people. We are measuring emotion 25 frames by second. So in the moment that one person is feeling something, it's a subconscious reaction. So you are immediately you are showing in your face an expression. But what we are analyzing is micro expression. It's not the expression that are available to see with your eyes. You need to be very trained to read micro expressions in people's faces. So the technology is reading the micro expression. It's a very, very small. So at this moment, you cannot fake these micro expressions. And this is why the technology is really understand what you are feeling. Normally we divide between basic emotions, happiness, surprise, anger, disgust, fear and sadness. And also we have add a second level of emotion is secondary emotion. To understand basic emotion is the immediate reaction and secondary emotion is the emotional reaction to the basic emotion. Okay, so we have the basic emotion and later that we have 158 secondary emotions to understand better the meaning of the basic emotion. I launched this project five years ago, so very early at the beginning of the technology. 
Currently, we are 11 people working at the company, and the company's the headquarters are in Spain, and also we are operating in Mexico and Silicon Valley in California.